this conspiracy theory of the great replacement. White replacement. It's all the rage, finally, and for a very important reason. It's not a theory. It's true and happening before our eyes. Let's back up real quick and remind newcomers that the UN was the first official source to publish a report in the year 2001 called Replacement Migration. Go to UN.org and find this page. Replacement migration. Is it a solution to declining and aging populations, they ask? UN projections indicate that over the next 50 years, the populations of virtually all countries of Europe, as well as Japan, will face population decline and population aging. The new challenges of declining and aging populations will require comprehensive reassessments of many established policies and programs, including those relating to international migration. In other words, words, white replacement through forced mass immigration and diversity quotas. Japan hasn't been as stupid to fully buy into these ludicrous, hateful lies. So on one hand, all of this is a dangerous right-wing conspiracy theory that arose out of absolutely nowhere. But on the other hand, they say, yes, white people are becoming a minority because of immigration. Here's the stats. Now let's celebrate. How about we hear and see it in their own words? They put forth conspiracy theories with respect to um, white genocide and the Great Replacement. The U.S. is experiencing kind of great demographic shifts, and that is not playing well with, with a lot of white folks, and that's, so they're putting forward this false narrative that there's a white genocide afoot. And it'll take a little bit of work to convince them that it's not true. Whites will, will not be the majority. I mean, that's... It's an exciting transformation of the country among white supremacists, white nationalists. That is viewed as a, a horrific event. In a couple of presidential cycles, you'll be on election night. You'll be announcing that we're calling the 38 electoral votes of Texas for the Democratic nominee for president. It's changing. It's going to become a purple state and then a blue state because of the demographics. The demographics of America are not on the side of the Republican Party. The new voters in this country are moving away from them. Brown people and black people and Muslims and immigrants are coming to replace our white civilization. And the, the, the Jews' job is basically to pass as a white person, but in fact do the bidding of these people. And so when you have someone like Congressman Steve King saying, we can't replace our civilization with someone else's babies, like what does that mean? What is that idea? The Jewish connection to the refugee is not a conspiracy. That's something that we're very, very proud of. An organization called HIAS, which brought people into this country. It participated in something called Refugee Shabbat, the value of Hachnasad Orchim, of welcoming the stranger, and especially of welcoming the refugee. An unrelenting stream of immigration, nonstop, nonstop. Folks like me who were Caucasian of European descent for the first time in 2017, we'll be in an absolute minority, fewer than 50% of the people in America from then and on will be white European stock. That's not a bad thing. That's a, that's a source of our strength. Immigration is the future. You cannot work and um, live in a globalized world, in, in the middle of the world, in Europe, without immigration and uh, moving populations. The history of Europe with this long history of nationalism and small countries is now um, is now getting into a crisis. They are not anymore only white or only Swedish or only Portuguese or only German. They are multicultural. Ideas like the Great Replacement, which is the perfect marriage really between Islamophobic racism, anti-Semitism and white nationalism, because the theory goes that there is a sort of Zionist conspiracy to breed out white people. The white British population has decreased by 600,000 while the minority population has increased by 1.2 million. So yes lads, we're winning. The core ideology of white nationalists, which is a euphemism for white supremacists, there are different types, but the core ideology is the belief in the imminent extinction of the white race because of a flood of non-white people, all orchestrated, puppeteered by Jews. It's a new Ireland. It is though, it is a new island. It's a new island of uh, new different diversities 
multicultural people, Filipinos, Spanish, Africans, mixed people. I met a girl the other day and I was like, where are you from? She goes, my man's from China and my dad is from Africa. I'm like, whoa, Ireland is unique now. We're, we're, we're mixed. There's going to be Barack Obama's walking around, Beyonce's and all oh, different, different sorts. Mixture of people. So the whites are going extinct here now. So we are, we're taking over. <laughs> Well, Anna, his statement makes me sick. On a personal level, preserving our heritage, reclaiming our heritage, that sounds a lot like a certain leader that killed members of my family and about six million other uh, Jews in the 1940s. He pretends that there are massive flows of illegal immigrants coming over our borders. He sounds a lot like despotic leaders that have talked about white heritage and white nationalism around the world and pretending that there are foreign people trying to uh, influence our country in a way that just isn't accurate. Europe, it's not white. Europe, it's not a white man also. And there is no democracy in Europe without black women in stages like that. Thank you. There is no equality without the voices of ethnic minorities in Europe. Equality, it's not enough. We need social justice in Europe. Thank you. Look, to be totally honest, if things are so bad, as you say, with the white working class, don't you want to get new Americans in who aren't going to be lazy, spoiled, whatever? And then you luckily, you have these waves of people coming in from Mexico who really want to work hard and really want to succeed. The real craziness comes, if you like, from rural white Americans who feel that it's they're losing their country, they're losing ownership of, of the country. And they're right, I mean, we are becoming more diverse, more multicultural, and they are, in the end, they're, they, they, become, they're, they're, they are not the future. In the end, the, the power they still have will go away. But it's a very difficult time until then. Who's the one inciting hate? They are. But then the common tactic is for them to then say, well, you white people are guilty of all these alleged historical crimes, so you deserve it. They admit forced replacement is happening, and it's a weapon for revenge. It was wrong when a few Europeans explored and conquered hundreds of years ago, but right when they do it today to every white country in the world. But of course, they still need us to make that happen. Well, lucky for the third world because their population is exploding in big part because of European advancement and aid. They haven't been conditioned through years of anti-your-own-people programming like we have. This lie pushed by the UN and the entire political establishment is the dangerous conspiracy theory. They are advocating for genocide. Yes, if forced population replacement was talked about in any non-European country in the world, it would be called genocide because it is. Also from the UN, the Convention on the Prevention and Punishment of the Crime of Genocide, Article 2 in the present convention. Genocide means any of the following acts committed with intent to destroy in whole or in part a national, ethnical, racial, or religious group as such. One, killing members of the group. Well, that's happening. We experience hate crimes the most, yet we can't talk about it because it's racist. Two, causing serious bodily or mental harm to members of the group. Happening. Critical anti-white race theory lies, and an onslaught of anti-white programming everywhere you look is causing mental harm in our people. Look around. Three, deliberately inflicting on the group conditions of life calculated to bring about its physical destruction in whole or in part happening forced mass immigration population replacement diversity quotas and lies about white privilege and how only white people can be racist and by the way we don't even really exist anyway we're just a social construct no other people are singled out institutionally attacked and lied about like us four imposing measures intended to prevent births within the group Happening! Anti-white culture doesn't exactly foster a good environment for white people to want to have white kids. Instead, we're told we should race mix to end racism. And don't forget, for years we were told to not have kids at all for the environment, but now all of a sudden we need billions of people from non-European countries. Well, what is European anyway? 
many times do we hear how something is too white or how there's too many white people and how they need diversity to make it less white? Our kids are targeted and being forced to become part of a group that is not their own. They're told to feel guilt for their group. We can't have anything that is our own, but everyone else does. All of these things and much more are happening in whole and in part to destroy us as a group. And they think it's a good thing to celebrate. But if we white people are against becoming a hated minority through lies, unbelievable exaggerations, propaganda and forced replacement, we are the problem. We are the racists. But replacing an entire race of people, no biggie. That's not inciting hate. It's an act of love. But if a white 18-year-old, most likely groomed shooter, mentioned the Great Replacement, then you are just like him. It doesn't matter if it's true. But never mind the many Black Lives Matter shooters. Well, lucky for them, they can always go to Africa. Their population is exploding, and no one is replacing them. Replacement migration is real. It's happening in front of your face. They don't do this because they love and care for old white people or our birth rates. They do it because they hate us and want us replaced. But guess what? You replace us with the third world, you'll get the third world. And that is ultimately the goal. Destroy Western European civilization. Who is advocating for this genocidal policy? The entire leftist establishment, including rhino Republicans, working with the media, entertainment, and using the educational system and a variety of racial interest groups from black, Asian, Latino, Muslim, and of course, Jewish. In fact, they have been the biggest, most vocal supporters of replacement migration in only white countries. Yet they can't even open their arms to their Palestinian neighbors. Why does the man behind the curtain want us replaced? I made a video on that right here. It's time to take this mainstream.